Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, special Best of British Blackwell video. No cooking today, I'm just going to show you something which a lot of people have been asking me about my uh, tandoor or tandoori oven. Um, really grateful for uh, to Napuri um, who make my tandoori oven. You can see my uh, tandoori chicken video um, in my video section. Lots of people have been asking me about the tandoor and Napuri, the guys that make it, have kindly sent me a brand new tandoor oven so that I can show you how it's put together and how simple it is to use. So I'm really grateful to them and at the end of this video I'll be showing you something where you can actually get hold of one of these things and also I'm running a little promotion and a little competition um, just to treat my, my regular viewers. Uh, so stay tuned for that. First thing I'm going to show you is the makeup of the kit and uh, all the pieces that come with it and then I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to assemble. So as part of the kit you get the top and bottom of the tandoor. I will refer to it in its proper term. Lots of people call it a tandoori oven, but its uh, real name is a tandoor. Um, so there we go. That's the top half and the bottom half there. Lovely egg shape. You get a bottom tray to help you organize all your utensils and so on. You get the ring, uh, which is a heat resistant ring. So it means that even when the tandoor is fired up, you can lift it up and move it around the place. You've got the couple of handles that end up on the side there. You've got the um, air circulation tray here, um, which provides um, uh, a barrier between uh, the coals and the ashtray. This is the ashtray here, so this is the nice and easy bit, which sits at the bottom half of the egg. You lift it up here and then you can um, get rid of your, your coals. And here you've got a barbecuing tray as well, so you don't just have to use the, uh, uh, the Napuri for, as a tandoor oven, you can use it uh, as a barbecue as well, which is really handy. And then finally, you've got the, the legs, the three legs that it stands on. Again, they're heat resistant as well, and you've got some skewers. Now, the way I set this up to put together, it's really, really simple. It comes with all the pieces that you need. You've got all of your instructions in here, and you've got all of your fixings there and there. Now what I like to do is use the top end of my toolbox there to separate all of the nuts and bolts out, but essentially you've only really got um, four different types of uh, kit in here. You've got some bolt heads and some washers, um, uh, some nuts, sorry, and some washers. You've got some uh, screws, and then you've got some bolts. Best piece of advice that I can give you is read the instructions. Napuri give you some really detailed instructions on how to put this thing together. They don't overcomplicate it because obviously you've only got some very basic um, assembly pieces. So just give it a quick read, it will take you five minutes and trust me it will make this whole process much much easier. So step one is using the lifting ring, get the three legs attached on to the ring. And you do that by making sure that the clips sit around the outside of the ring and then you've got a nice stable base upon which to work. Now we've got our nice solid base. I've tightened up the screws underneath the uh, accessory tray, but I'm yet to tighten these up, mainly because I still need to fit this part in. We just sit it inside there, and then we bolt that on with some clips that hold on to the top part of the egg. So we've got the uh, bottom half of the grill placed. Now what we do is we secure it into one spot first, and then the rest will all fall into place, okay? So you have two bolts, which slide through two holes here and here and you can see they're protruding there and then you take this plate here which secures the top part of the uh, tandoor in place thread it through make sure it's on the inside and then you just secure that with the bolts So the handles are really easy to install as well. I know you're probably going to get fed up with me saying that over and over again, but honestly, I can't um, I can't emphasize enough how quickly this is to put together. I'm probably six minutes in to building this thing, and we're very nearly done. So you take another one of your bolts here, place it through the uh, handle clip, making sure that the um, angled part of the clip is on the outside of the handle. There's already a thread inside these handles here. 
and you just screw screw them in. Again, I tend to leave them quite loose because this is going to attach onto the uh, upper part of the tandoor. So again, take the second clip and you've got four clips in total and two handles. And again, wind them in. And then what happens is this here will clip onto the side of the tandoor. Now we move on to attaching the handles. Um, as part of the kit, you've got some slightly slimmer, shorter uh, bolts and a couple of washers and all you do is get your handle get the bolt get the angled part of the bolt of the uh, clip sorry and then get your washer and the nut and you attach that now obviously look you can see how much easier this is because I've built slack into the handle here because it's nice and loose, you don't have to worry about stretching the metal or anything like that. So you've got the first one in there. And then the second one. And then once you've got the second one in and tight, well hand tight, then you can go around and start tightening these handle bolts here. Okay, now the handles are on. We are at the very, very end stage of this build. You will find that you are only left with three bolts and you think oh goodness I don't have nuts for those what on earth are these for start to panic read the instructions go back and have a look and you'll find that there's three holes in the bottom of the top bottom part of the top section of the tandoor and what you do is you take these bolts and you screw them all the way in and these act as the locking nuts for the uh, bottom part of the pan which I'll show you in a second okay so we've got all of our core parts together what I'm going to do now is take my Phillips screwdriver and my adjustable spanner because a lot of these have uh, nuts and bolts and so on and I'm just going to tighten everything up now as tight as it will go that's the key all of the bolts that you've left loose tighten them up as much as you can now everything's put together everything's been tightened up and we are ready to go I am quite literally 11 or 12 minutes in to having unboxed this thing it is that simple to put together and just to finish it off the ash pan goes into the bottom here you have the air circulation, uh, circulation tray that sits on top. You've also got this handy little thing here for if you want to use it as a barbecue, which just sits on top here. And then finally, the lid. You line it up with, you line the bolts on the bottom with the little clips here. Place it on the top, give it a turn. You're in. Now along with your um, tandoor, you also get these uh, two-in-one skewers. Um, I know you get a lot of uh, accessories with various pieces of kit, but these are absolutely superb. And I use these uh, even when not using the, uh, the tandoor. They come in two pieces, I think I've shown you these before. And you literally take them, screw them together, and there's your skewers. They are really solid, really strong, really durable can really withstand some heat as well and you get a total of six of these i believe so they're very handy as well and there we have it in all its glory the wonderful napuri tandoor put together in about 12 13 minutes really simple really easy really durable i really recommend you guys to get hold of one okay guys so thank you for watching that tutorial on how to put together the napuri tandoor um, thank you for watching till the end as well because I've got a little special treat for you. Uh, Napuri have kindly sent me these wonderful official Napuri Tandoori mixes. I've got five of them in total. The first people to like, comment and share this video will be sent one of these absolutely free of charge as a special kind of thank you. So thank you for watching till the end. There's the little uh, gift for you. Also if you're interested in purchasing one of the Napuri Tandoori ovens do get in touch with me, send me a message or contact me on my Facebook page or my YouTube page and I will be happy to help you and secure you a decent discount as well. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy it.